Hi, it's Hamster Lover 227 and today's video will be on a hamster's diet. So, a little bit off topic, but as you might have guessed, seen or guessed, we've had a bit of a cage change. So now we have a bendy bridge, which I've wanted for ages. We have a corn doll, which is absolutely broken. We have just a normal ball, a coconut and some uh, egg boxes. <coughs> And a new, you might be able to see it, down there is quite big, like a cube for her biting and chewing. And then, I might show you in a bit, she had her old bed, her plastic pink house. She absolutely wrecked, she chewed it all, so it was all broken and the plastic was really sharp. Just quickly, so now we've changed her bed to the Rudolph bed, however in the back you might be able to see she's made a, another bed totally oblivious to this one. She's not bothered about sleeping in something, but I'm going to have to get her a new bed because she's, you know, she's not really wanting to. Anyway, back to the video. So now we're on a hamster's diet, so Bobbin has the Howie's Hamster Mix. Um, she used to have the super vet mix, but we can't get it in our pet shop now. But yeah, so this is just a mix of loads of different things to make a perfect balanced diet. Bobbin is a Syrian hamster, but that doesn't change the diet. This diet is exactly the same for all breeds of hamsters. So, um, with any kind of mix, you'd need um, just a normal sized bowl you can get at any pet shop. Um, we just bought the one from our local pet shop, but yeah, so you need a bowl and you'll need, um, for a few days, she needs um, two tablespoons of your mix. So Bobbin has that, but this that's the best diet for hamsters. Um, sorry, Bobbin's currently doing something in there. Yeah, so this is the best. Sorry, that was a cuteness alert. We have Bobbin doing something in a little house. She almost escaped as I was checking over the video, but anyway, back to the diet. So two tablespoons will la or should last for up from two days to a week, depending on your breed of hamster. But make sure you're not always topping up their feed because then they begin to like certain bits of um, your uh, mixes and because they know that every, you know, maybe every day you change it they know they don't have to eat all the healthiest stuff so they'll just eat all the, like, as we would have it as fast food <clears throat> yeah, so they would eat all the fast food and never eat the healthy stuff and the reason for these mixed is because they provide <coughs> sorry, a balanced diet so, but that's only if they eat all of it so to prevent um, stopping hamsters become fussy eaters you can um, just leave the tin until their bowl is completely empty and only top up their food bowl when it's empty Hamsters' instincts are to have food. So if they, you know, if they start to get hungry when they've left stuff, um, they'll know after a few days, maybe at the very most, they'll come back and they'll eat because they love eating. So they know it's the instinct. But if you do that, that will prevent for eating, and because they don't worry about them getting starved or anything, they'll come back for food when they need it. These are filler pellets, it's what manufacturers put in most um, feeds and these are literally nothing. They have no nutrients, they have nothing bad in them but there is no use in them. If your hamsters are leaving these, don't worry because barely any hamsters eat them. Bobbins sometimes eat them but from looking over at other subscribers and things and other main pet tubers barely any hamsters eat them but so don't worry if your hamster isn't eating them 
but if they are, it's not bad, just they're basically nothing. As well as their normal diet, the hamsters need extra food. So I give uh, my, hamsters as, uh, my hamster as a treat, so I give her the Rotostack yoghurt drops, or the chocolate drops, and I give her um, just like little you know, shop bought treats. So those are good, especially if you have a slightly skinnier hamster and you need to feed them up. But yeah, they're good and but make sure you don't feed them more than I think five a day is so absolute maximum or else they'll just get too fat and they'll have diarrhea and get very ill. One of the main parts of a hamster's diet is vegetables. They're just like for humans and we, they need their vegetables. They're very good at providing a very healthy diet. So best things to give them like cucumber, carrot, barely any carrot though because they have a lot of sugar in. Broccoli, one to two, just most vegetables apart from iceberg lettuce. You can't give them iceberg lettuce because it's got too much water in it and it's just pretty bad for them. So that's their main diet and they've got, they'll eat what they want, they're quite bossy animals so eat what they want and they won't eat what they don't want really. So don't worry if they're not eating their food maybe for the one week, they'll finally realise that they're getting hungry and as a hamster their instinct will be to go and get food, whatever food it is. But even if they're still not eating for quite a while, they, if they were in the wild, they could manage up to days and days without food because they'll just pouch a lot of food and they'll eat it slowly. But try to make sure there's always, all, always food there or else then they could get ill and poorly. Sorry about how messy Bobbin's cage is. She's due to be cleaned out well tomorrow and she's mixed a lot of cardboard boxes and sticks of carrot in the end of her corn doll thing so she's got a lot in this main compartment but yeah so some of you might have realised there's a crack in her cage there will be a chance we will be getting Bob in a new cage soon but we don't need one yet thank you for watching my video please subscribe, I need as many subscribers as possible if you liked it and thought it was a good video please put a thumbs up if you didn't like it and you want me to maybe do a better video or do a different type of video put a thumbs down please comment, subscribe and well, thank you for watching